Hello YouTubers, welcome to my video uh, on uh, the Try Me Button to PIR Motion Trigger Adapter that I uh, promised uh, one of my viewers, uh, S.R. Norris. He asked me about details for this and I am obliging. I told him I would get a video out this week and I am doing it now. What he was curious to know was how I actually wired this circuit up and I'm using a uh, what they call an, an S. HC-SR051 PIR motion sensor and that means passive infrared sensor okay uh, there's a lot of videos on this I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about how this works but you have a sensitivity adjustment you have a delay adjustment for how long the output stays on and you have a pin out there's a th three pins coming off of this board there's a positive, there's an output, and a minus. Okay, so uh, what I'm doing is I'm providing 6 volts either with a wall wart or 4 AAA batteries. Okay, I like using wall warts because I don't want to have to worry about running around for batteries. Okay, uh, so basically I connect the plus, plus 6 volts to the plus pin and ground or negative of the batteries or wall wart to the negative pin. Now, that, the rest of the circuit comes into play now. The output of the PIR sensor puts out a 3.3 volt positive pulse. And that pulse will stay high based on how long this delay is set. This delay can be set for, based on what I saw, is 2 to two seconds up to 3 minutes. So I'm using the timer built into this to be my pause between shows of my zombies okay which I mentioned in my last video video I have mine set for 45 seconds so this will stay at 3.3 volts for 45 seconds now what I'm trying to do is simulate a button push and what happens is I'm putting 3.3 volts into this capacitor that charges and runs current through this transistor and that activates it and turns it on to full on and this LED will flash during the charge up cycle of this while well, this is at 3 volts it will also turn on the infrared LED inside the PIR sensor okay I'm sorry the optocoupler and that is optically coupled to a output transistor the output transistor gets directly tied to in parallel to your try me button now you can look up the parts and pinouts there's the input which is the infrared LED and the output is this transistor that's activated by light once this turns on okay I also have this uh, resistor at the base of this transistor so any electrical noise won't false trigger this and activate the show by uh, simulating a button push when you when it's not intended okay so very simple. I'm using this to turn on the transistor. It flashes this light, flashes this LED. It turns on this transistor. It looks like an intermittent button push to the uh, Halloween or Christmas prop. The one thing you have to be concerned about is this is polarity sensitive. The most positive side of the uh, try me button wiring has to go to the collector of this transistor. The most negative side has to go to the emitter of this output transistor okay and like I say look up the data sheet and wiring diagram for this and that's basically it now on the zombie demo I just showed you in my last short video I have a box and I have a yellow LED what I did was I incorporated an additional transistor and a couple resistors to turn on that yellow LED and what that does is it gets tied to the same output pin as long as there's three volts on here it will turn on this transistor and leave that yellow light in, in the case of the last video on for the duration of the, the delay that this is set at so that you have a visual indication of what the status is of the circuit so you know that it's in pause mode so it's not re-triggerable until this LED goes out because that tells you this uh, went to zero volts and this thing is ready to accept another motion uh, uh, scenario. So that's basically it. I think I covered everything. 
This is a basic uh, 213904 transistor. This is also a 213904. These are jelly bean. There's a lot of replacements. If they're easy to uh, find replacements for, just Google them and say go, uh, equivalence of 2N3904. This is an NPN low voltage transistor. And like I say, look up the details of this and how it works. But this is how you wire it. If you can uh, do connect the dots, you can build this circuit real easy. The only thing is you might have to learn how to solder. I hope this helps. Happy haunting. Happy Christmas show. Um, I hope this uh, gives you... Uh, information that you need to build your own and enjoy. Thanks for watching.